Hi there. My name is Ben Williams. I am a Cloud Services Associate um, here at Tech Impact. What that means is I work with Office 365 and SharePoint specifically for clients. So I'm going to be talking to you guys today about the differences between OneDrive for Business and SharePoint Online. And so right now you probably have a file server in your office where all of the files that multiple people need access to are being stored. So SharePoint Online is going to be a great way to replace that, not have to maintain and upgrade that server. And then OneDrive for Business is a really great way to replace your My Documents folder, or if you are using like a home drive or something on your file server that just your, your personal files are in, OneDrive for Business is a, a really great way to replace that as well. These two services are cloud-based. So what that means is that they are accessible over the Internet, and you are not the one who is paying for those, those servers and maintaining them and making sure that they are up to date on everything. So with OneDrive for Business, it is a cloud storage space for each user in Office 365. Everyone gets a terabyte of storage in there, and that is equivalent to 1,000 gigabytes. So it is tons and tons of space for all of your files that you may need to store there. One great example of some files that you would want stored there are like a Word document that you are working on that you are kind of drafting and you don't necessarily want other people to have access to or see just yet that might be in your My Documents folder right now. OneDrive for Business is a great place for that. And then with SharePoint, some documents that you might want to store in there are shared documents, so anything that multiple people are going to need access to, media that people are going to be um, using over and over again, PowerPoint templates that are organization-wide that you might want everyone in the organization to have access to. Our um, SharePoint is a really good fit for things like that. The great thing about OneDrive for Business is that it also allows you to have a synced library, like a synced folder on your computer um, that is going to replicate all of, what you, all of your documents that you have in the cloud. So if we look here, I have this space this folder called OneDrive Tech Impact. This is my actual OneDrive, and it matches what I have in the cloud here. So, all of these that are in my folder on my File Explorer are actually downloaded on my hard drive. So, if I lose internet for any reason, I still have access to those. And the great thing about this is that any changes that I make to these documents, any documents I add to this folder or delete from this folder, those changes are going to be backed up to the cloud as well. So I don't have to worry about uploading things, downloading things. I can just work out of this one space. With SharePoint, we don't necessarily have that syncing ability, but it's really a, a space that everyone can go to that they are going to be able to access the files that they should have access to. So we have cloud documents here. This is for Anyone who works within our cloud services team is going to have access to this library in SharePoint with these files. So we don't really need to download and attach documents to emails to send them to people. We can just tell them, hey, I made changes to the document Salesforce billing guidelines in cloud documents. You should just go over there and take a look at the changes that I've made. So it gives a lot easier access to those shared documents that everyone is going to need to have access to. And again, it's in the cloud, so if I'm at home and I need to do some work on a proposal that I'm working on in SharePoint that other people have, have updated and I now need to go and finish that up, as long as I have an Internet connection, I'm going to be able to access either my OneDrive documents or my SharePoint documents. 